Hello everyone. I've received a few requests from students to clarify the process of creating the turntable animation. Um, this is what I'm talking about. So if I were to hit play here, we'll see that the camera is going to follow that path. We'll just go ahead and split these areas. And then we can see what is actually happening. Um, so the camera is traveling around the path and is constantly looking at the empty, which I put in the middle here. So I'm going to go through that process. It's multi-step, but it's pretty simple. And after you do it two or three times, you, you should have it down pat. So we'll start with a brand new empty file. I'll just have the default cube, a light, and my camera. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create the path. So shift A to add. In this case, we will see that we have two circles. One is a mesh, the other is a curve. In this case, we want the curve. Um, let's go ahead and scale that up. So S to scale, make it nice and big. The next thing to do is we're going to look at it from a top-down view. And I'm going to align my camera so that it lines up with the edge of my, uh, with the edge of my curve there. So G, I'm going to hit Shift Z so I don't uh, go up and down. I'll do that next. And I'm just going to put it right about there. Look at it from here. Let's go ahead and lower it down on the Z axis so that it matches my line, which is right here. I'm going to make sure I have my camera selected. Hold Shift and select my, uh, my curve. Now if I press Control P on the keyboard, that's going to bring up my parent menu. There's several options for parenting. In this case, I want to select Follow Path. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And if I hit play on my playhead now, we'll see that it follows the path around. Um, and we'll worry about how long it takes to make a full circle in just a minute. The problem that we're going to tackle next is how do I get the camera to look at a particular object as it goes, uh, as it goes around the line. So what we want to do is we want to track the camera to an empty. Now an empty is just a, an object that doesn't have any renderability to it. And so I'm going to grab an empty plane axis. Again, we'll hit scale to scale that up. I grab my camera now. I'm going to add a constraint. So I go to the constraint panel and track to. Use the eyedropper to select the uh, empty. And there you go. So now, as it goes around, it's going to constantly track to that empty. Wherever I move the empty to, the camera will look at. So if I grab it, move it up, we'll see that the camera tracks to the empty. The last thing we need to do is slow it down, because 100 frames is really too fast for a turntable. You wouldn't be able to really see the object. Select the spline again. Go to the data properties for it. Go to path animation. See where it says frames. Change that to whatever you want your frame count to be. And we'll see now that it goes around much slower as it looks at my cube. All right, well, I hope that helps a few people out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me. Uh, otherwise, have a great weekend.